Calendar Boys. Calendar Boys. Hello and welcome to the daily experience that we like to call... The Calendar Boys. <laughs> the Calendar Boys. Are we the Calendar Boys now? I guess we we are the uh -huh. Calendar Boys. We do yeah. we do Calendar Boys. Um, and I've been sort of speaking in a way which sounds like I'm referring to the audience as Calendar Boys. So I don't know if that's anything. Ah, we are I'd all Calendar that. Boys. <laughs> We're all Calendar Boys. Each and every one of us. Um, what's up, Calendar fans? We know you love these uh, uh, hot dates that happen every day. <laughs> It's April 15th today, uh, and can you take a wild guess as to what day it might be? Um, is it, uh, is it purple day? Uh, can you see my lights? Lights not purple. Oh, it's orange day. Nope, that's not it either. That the light was a, a red herring. <laughs> orange herring. <laughs> Orangey red herring. Um, okay, is it, um... Thursday? Actually, I don't even know what day is it actually. Oh, tomato day. It's not tomato day. This I don't is know. A, this is yet another red herring. I'm, I'm, I'm throwing out pretty wild guesses here, but... Ah, it's a plant day. Hug... Hug a plant day. Wrong. It was... I said... I, I don't know. Just I, kinda, you, you missed all gonna, the clue. You missed all we just the one keep clue. Guessing? That, you missed all the one clue that I put in there. Ah, the green day. No, that's not quite it. You missed every single clue that I laid out. Uh, let me break it down Man. for you. The one clue that I did put in was when I said "take a wild guest day." What I meant was the day is called "take a wild guest day." You, you, wow. you fooled again by my incredible again. riddles. Uh, riddles. Like a you sphinx. This day is about noticing... Don't, don't eat my head. <laughs> this day is about noticing your hunches. You can also practice your ability to guess while going through your day-to-day -day life. Learn more about the history of this unique holiday here at daysoftheyear.com where this information is from. Uh... <laughs> Take a wild guess they began back in uh, 2010 uh, when Jim Barber, a professional speaker, uh, uh, what, wh what, why, why did he want to do this? Forgot. Let's take a guess. I, I can't oh, process God. this paragraph. What do you think Jim Barber created this day for? In 2010, uh, Jim Barber is uh, someone who helps with audio projects and worldwide events and was a technical trainer on computer software. Why did Jim create this day? I don't know the answer yet. I think I think he'd been given the same presentation for years and years. And he was just like, man, I'm sick of taking regular guesses as to what people want to hear. Time to get nutty with it. And he was like, asking the crowd, just take a wild guess about what I'm going to say next. That people were just like, uh, orange. Green. And then it took off like wildfire. Um, so it actually, it comes from, he worked a lot with people who do federal tax forms. And he noticed that people orange. tend to make a lot of guesses when they do tax. <laughs> <laughs> and so, like, I'm going to take that idea. What? I'm going to extrapolate it. Uh, um, this day is also Tax Returns Day. What? <laughs> yeah, Tax Returns Day. Uh, actually, no, sorry. He doesn't He doesn't work with federal tax forms. He just um, guessed that uh, uh, from his observation, he ob observed that a lot of people tend to guess on tax. Um so it's all about trusting your gut and taking a guess. Using your deduction skills doesn't hurt On your taxes. Uh, it, the important thing is to have fun <laughs> when you're guessing your federal tax On your taxes. <laughs> this, He's not encouraging people not to guess on their tax. He's uh, encouraging people to guess in their life inspired by how they guess on their tax. 
Like, obviously, obviously, obviously you guess on your tax. You want to take that energy yeah. applied to the rest of your life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. It's more, less a case of, like, that's not the place to do that, but you should do that literally everywhere else. <laughs> do more guessing. Um, yeah. To take a wild guess business. day, take a wild guess day is a fun way to, like, just, uh, I don't know, add some variety to your life. Take some wild guesses about things. Uh, on this day, I'd encourage you to um, hit up some friends and be like, uh, how many orbs do you think I own? Um, obviously, you'll have to count how many orbs you own before you do this. And then let make them make a wild guess about how many orbs you own. Um, the, yeah. the real question is, what counts as an orb? Um, can we call this an orb? Is it round enough? Take a guess. No. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> um, Green. But I mean, Orange. you probably have some orbs around your house. If you go looking in your cupboards, there might be a marble. Uh, if you have one of those old computer mice, there might be one with the ball in there that you can pull out. <laughs> a lot of people used to like to pull those. One of those, one of those orb-shamed shamed computer mice. Yeah, the ones with the orb on there. A lot of people like to get the orb out of, like, in the old days, people would uh, undo the thing, get the orb out, and they'd suck on it. That's nasty. Um, but, yeah, if you, <laughs> you probably have some orbs in your house, and I would encourage you to go and find them. Uh, take it first, uh, take a guess. Take a, this is a fun activity I like to do. Take a guess to how many orbs you think there might be in your house, and then see if it's correct. Make a really wild guess, though. Don't just guess, like, yeah. some, like, mm, three. Like, uh, 68. Yeah. And, and see if you're right. <laughs> yeah, maybe you have... Much like a tax return. If you have, maybe, um... You might have a, uh, a, a shower soap that has, like, those micro beads. That might be yeah. orbs. Wow, wow, you could technically, you could say something wild and then actually be true. So don't let that hold you back from saying as wildly outlandish a thing as possible to any questions anyone asks today. I think that's the yeah. main thing. If anyone exactly. asks you a question today, just go nuts. If the uh, IRS calls you and asks for a correction on your uh, income amounts and uh, it's incorrect because yes. you guessed it the first time, Take another wild guess, and maybe the second time will be a little closer to what will satisfy them. Yeah, that's how it works. It's bit by bit, incremental successes and guesses. <laughs> incremental <laughs> guesses leads to successes, eventually. But yeah, uh, so uh, how to celebrate this day. Um, start, starting your day with only taking guesses. If you, see, if you see an opportunity to take a guess such as what the weather will be like today, uh, take that opportunity. Um, you can even think about guess what your... Day. You can Very even well. take a guess at what your work productivity might be like. Uh, I, I don't think that's going to be a wild guess in the current climate, <laughs> but... These are pretty conservative guesses. <laughs> <laughs> um, you could do... A, like I, I, I still I come back to the orbs thing. Take a guess. How many orbs are in your house? Uh, I, I will, put, I'll do my best to count the orbs in my house and post them in the comments. Um, but I won't post yeah, those for too, a little bit. Listener. I won't post those for a little bit. You, y'all have a, a few days to guess how many orbs I have in my house. Take a wild guess. <laughs> count your orbs, uh, like you count your, <laughs> um, blessings. And, uh, assume there's lots. <laughs> assume there's a lot of them. Uh, and we'll see you tomorrow. This is Calendar Boys, just in case you didn't know. Uh, we are just in case it's Calendar Boys. Calendar boys. We are the Calendar Boys. This is Calendar Boys. You might be Calendar